Hi guys, Lyndon here and I'm here again with my snow bike this morning and I just want to talk a little bit about chain maintenance because just like a dirt bike, these bikes have a chain. It takes the power from the engine, transmits it to the sled at the back and while it's only a short chain, uh, it goes through the same types of loads as a dirt bike. So we don't have dusty conditions, but we do have extremely wet conditions. So it's important to use a chain lube that's going to stick to the chain and lubricate it well in these conditions. For that, I'm using this fully synthetic Motorex chain lube. And every single night when we get back, we let the bikes dry off because they're very wet, full of ice. Uh, we lubricate the chain and we, we let it soak into the chain overnight so that when we go riding the next day We've got full protection and lubrication in the chain for another trouble free days riding the coolant on the snow bike this morning um, You know Keeping these things warm is the problem in the snow believe it or not uh, That's why you see this wrap around the engine uh, to stop the snow the powder snow cooling the engine down we have this problem with the radiators where um, the radiators, you want them to flow when the engine's hot, but when the engine's cold, you don't want it to flow. So we run cards down the front of the radiators to stop the flow, airflow running through them. But we also have a problem with them freezing up. They get frozen solid, so there's zero flow. Then when you get into a technical situation, the engine gets extremely hot and can start to overheat. So it's important to use the right coolant. Here we've got this Motorex ready to use M3.0. We check it every day because of the heat cycles this engine goes through. We sometimes lose a little bit of coolant if it overheats, so it's important to keep it topped off so that we don't have any troubles while we're out riding. I've shared with you some of the Motorex products that I use at home in my workshop and also some of the products that I use here in the snow biking world. But what would you like to see? What would you like to know? How I service something? What products I use to service an item on the bike? Get it in the comments below and we'll try and get some information out to you on the channel. Thanks very much. Hey, morning guys. Got another day in the snow today. Uh, just gonna show you around a bit. We've got some sleds here. Uh, our truck, lots of snow. It's a lot colder today. It's like minus 15 C this morning. Uh, so the snow's gonna be a lot different to what it was in previous days where it was only like minus two, minus three. And it's also gonna be a lot colder riding. So it's gonna be interesting to see uh, exactly what it's gonna be like today. Uh, to show you the trailer behind me, this is a trailer we've got all the stuff in. Uh, my, bike, my bike just, my bike just walk, warming up there, the Husky. Uh, and we've got some other bikes coming behind me to load up. Uh, but I'm going to do a little review on the trailer because it's awesome. There's John just loading the bike up here. Getting all loaded up for another day in the snow. So let me just uh, give you a little tour of the trailer quickly. So inside the trailer, we've got, just hang my bag up here, shut the door the heat in so stand at the back so you can see it can take about six bikes six sleds uh, six snow bikes there's my bike there you can see uh, what we've got is we've got holes in the floor to let the water drain through we've got heating in the trailer these places to store helmets and equipment and they're also heated let me show you this So you got all the helmets in here, and then we got some heating blowing in here, so it's warm. Melts all the snow, dries the helmets for the next day. Super nice. Tools, fuel, more fuel, burn a lot of fuel. All the avalanche packs, body armor, boots. These hot air blows through these vents here to dry everybody's boots, keep them warm especially when it's like minus 30 outside. Uh, some stereo system. Nice hot air. All the jackets and gear. More bikes. And John, the main man behind the program. <laughs> So 
mic, you all ready? All set. We'll You're see all what, organized? We'll see what happens. Where's your pink bag? Got my tow rope. <laughs> you might need that. They say that's important. <laughs> Okay, so just about to go riding today. This is fourth day riding now, getting the hang of it. Hopefully no getting stuck today. It's a cold one. Uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, goggles. People are asking me about goggles and how they don't steam up. So I'm gonna show you the goggle setup, it's sick. I've tried everything. I use double pane goggles, double pane goggles and everything. Um, still had the problems and then a good friend of mine uh, gave me these 509 heated goggles and game changer for this sport like whew, check this out so basically what we have is a heated lens it's got a wire and a battery and it lasts all day and it literally does last all day except yesterday when I broke the wire on mine and had to ride without so but for that we've also got inside a little fan system which clears the screen so a double backup on the uh, lens clearing solution, but it works. Where you been, Matt? What's that? Where you been? Helping those guys. You should try it. You rolled right up the so we just uh, stopped to take some layers off. Just perfect to show you where we are. Johnson, how's it going, Mike? Great. <laughs> Husky, Matty, how's it going, Matt? Not bad. Beautiful day, huh? Perfect powder. Look at this. Bones, John. Hanging out. It's paradise. Paradise. Check this out. <laughs> this is proper snow. We're just about to head into the trees in here. So once we get in there, it's going to be uh, soft and hard work. And the freshies up there. Yeah. Yeah! Three, two, one. Three, two, 
So here's Mike trying to find us. This is Mike here. Let's see if he does some loops. <laughs> no. Here we come. No, it's going south again. <laughs> Other way, Mike. He's going home, Matt. He's gone. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> sort of thing that can happen you don't see these branches under the snow and you get hooked up on it it looks like a giant penis hey <laughs> you up don't man down nice to what are you doing man <laughs> Bean Johnson. Idling in first gear. Every freaking snowflake's like a needle in my eye. <laughs> Why don't you put some goggles on like everyone else? <laughs> they're a little frozen up. Actually, they look great now. They're perfect. Yeah. You just excuses, excuses. <laughs> All right, Matt, tell us what is it like snow biking in a short few sentences? Um, sweaty. <laughs> cold and extremely fun but uh no it's been fun to be up there um poor old johnson's having a bit of a day his goggles keep <laughs> freezing up what's the hardest part uh pulling johnson out <laughs> getting stuck <laughs> yeah, getting and the digging stuck. yourself out yeah. yeah getting stuck and digging yourself out it's like the sand dune being back in mauritania you the loved it there though yeah loved at least it. you didn't get lost here no well, I did. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> so you're wondering how hot the bikes get? There is your answer. Completely frozen solid radiators. 
and the bike still doesn't overheat. Pretty impressive. In the next episode, there's some seriously deep powder and I crash into a tree. Down in the <laughs>